we woke up in London town. figure out the oyster card. Venti. See, we're using it a lot. Morning guys from sunny London, <laughs> from cloudy London. We woke up early this morning, grabbed a coffee as you saw, and now we are headed. We booked an Airbnb experience tour with a cab driver and he takes us around in his black cab. You know those cabs that you see in London? around the city for a little tour. So it's my first Airbnb experience tour that I've booked, that we've booked, that we've done. So we're going to be doing that this morning. A nice way to see London and start the trip. They're gonna paint this mailbox gold because it's right in the centre of London to celebrate us being the host city. This is the studios they recorded the album in. So they named it after the studios. So it's the, all the white building guys started off as an Edwardian house. But look in the backyard how much it's been extended, all that brickwork. Alright guys, here's Ollie, the awesome Hey guys. Did you say taxi or cab driver? Uh, either, whatever you guys prefer. Our Normally cab driver. Cab driver guide for the day. Yeah, if you pass on through guys. Right. It's been a busy day. Thought I'd catch up, catch you guys 
up on. What we've been up to, we're now heading back to our Airbnb for a couple hours before we have a dinner date with a colleague, an old colleague of both me and Emilio's, who's from here. And what was this morning was cloudy, chilly, and rainy. And now the sun is out and I'm actually sweating. This is the outfit for the evening. Um, I have a little thin unique glow jacket because it's chilly, at least for me. And this dress with a belt and some ballet flats. The thing I've noted, the English are walking around in flip flops and shorts. Um, so yeah, I feel like it'll be okay if I wear a dress. And also, we booked this trip on a whim, kind of last minute, and I didn't have any autumn clothes, warmer clothes, literally all I had were the clothes in my suitcase for the summer. So I'm just, I, I you know, gotta do what you gotta do with what you have. So make it work. And yeah, oh, I didn't even explain to you guys, we booked this trip to London a couple weeks ago, a week and a half ago, to celebrate me and Emilio's one year wedding anniversary. Can't believe it's already been a year. And we decided to go somewhere fun, somewhere I've never been to before. Can you believe I've never been to London? Uh, before we officially head over back to the States. So that is what we're doing. And so far I absolutely love the city. It reminds me of a very big Boston. I don't know if I'm gonna get any shade for that, but it does so far and it's just quaint and all the neighborhoods are so different and charming. It's really lovely so far. And today, I feel like we threw everything all like a lot of in today. That way we don't have any other like set plans for the rest of our time here. We're here for two more full days. So that way it's kind of nice. We can just wake up and kind of walk around and see what we get into. I love, we both are kind of the same way when we travel that way. We don't like to have like things filled every single day. We kind of also like to walk around and stumble upon things as well. So we'll see what we get up to for the remainder of our trip. Now we are off to dinner near Covent Garden. So I'm excited to also see that, that area as well. Good morning from day two in London. I'm headed to grab some coffee and some breakfast. Emilio went to the barber to get his beard done, I guess. Is that what, is that what they do? Uh, so I'm going to meet him at this coffee spot really close to our Airbnb before we start the day. I think today we're going to do, I'm not sure. Some We did get tickets to go see the Tower of London. We do have dinner reservations tonight at a restaurant that we saw on Chef's Table, which we're really excited about. But besides that, we are just gonna walk around and see what we stumble upon. So I'm, I'm gonna let you guys go while I figure out where this coffee place is. that I'm obsessed with. And the sun has come out and we are about to go into the Tower of London. Got the maps. Got our audio guides. Now we're good to go. Yeah. 
the tour of the Tower of London. It was long. I mean, we did the audio guide, so we kind of walked around ourselves, but we were there like a good two hours. And now we, we just went through Borough Market, which is amazing. If we didn't have dinner reservations in an hour and a half, we probably would eat there right now. But we just stopped and grabbed a little glass of wine and rested our legs because we were, we've been walking all morning and afternoon. And then we have dinner reservations at a restaurant called Dart Jailing Express. If any of you are Chef's Table fans, you will know the restaurant. Amelia and I love Chef's Table. We binge watched it and we, when we knew we were going to London, we were like, oh my gosh, that restaurant that we saw on Chef's Table. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, I recommend it. It's, it's a really good series and episode, the one of the restaurant where we're going tonight. The story, the background, the backstory of the chef's awesome. So I'm excited to test out. It's Indian cuisine tonight. like the Times Square of London. Very lively and uh, very touristy, but it's cool to see at night. Like when you meet somewhere, it's a sort of meeting point. I'll do it because of your... Good morning, friends! I feel like I left you last night when we... <laughs> When we got to Piccadilly Circus, after that we just walked, uh, we, we took a little walk and then we took the underground home and we passed out. I forgot how tiring a full day of touring and walking is. I haven't done it in a while, so we passed out probably before 11 o'clock and now, oh, the dinner last night, just quick, it was delicious, but... It was, everything that we got was very, e extremely spicy. They don't state on their menu the level of spiciness. So I don't know if that's just a, that's a, a given, but be cautious. I love Indian food, but that was the first time that I couldn't eat a lot of the things. Like it was, it was tough, but it was really good. So it kind of sucked that it was so spicy. But anyways, it was a good experience. We met the chef slash owner of the place. Um, so yeah, she was really sweet and kind and it was a really cute restaurant. So if you like spicy food and Indian food, then highly recommend it. Now we are going to find some breakfast and explore a little bit more today. I would love to get over to Camden, Camden Market area and um, yeah, see where we go from there. So let's go. Good evening guys, 
back in our Airbnb, ready for bed. I just wanted to give you a quick kind of summary of what we did today. I don't remember the last time I checked in with you guys. I think it was this morning or it was in Camden maybe. After Camden, we went to have lunch at a place in Soho called Duck and Rice or the Duck and, no, Duck and Rice, I think. It's like a Chinese British fusion. It was so cool. You felt inside like you were in a, an English pub, but the food was Chinese, but with some English British twist to it. And they had tons of vegan veggie options. So really good. We ate really well and they even surprised us for our anniversary. Really cute, even though our anniversary is belated, but that was still really sweet because we didn't really have like a technical meal celebration, I guess, on our anniversary. And then after duck and rice, we did just some shopping without buying anything. Like I tried on a bunch of stuff and didn't buy anything around like Covent Garden, Oxford Circus area, which is like very touristy, but I feel like I had to see that. And then we were going to like go out to dinner tonight but we ended up just staying out and getting a beer at a pub and then getting fish and chips. Guilty, I feel like I had to do it. And it was really good and it's about, what, 10 p.m. now? And we're gonna go to sleep soon because our flight tomorrow is six in the morning, so we have to be up about 3.30 not looking forward to it. So I just wanted to sign off and end the vlog here before tomorrow morning, because who knows what state I'll be in. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like this trip to London was a success. There's still a lot to explore. I do regret not exploring the parks, like Hyde Park or Kensington like the Kensington Gardens area, but we saw it. I saw it like from the outside and the weather was like, well, I guess for London standards, the weather was pretty nice. It did sprinkle some days and it was cold and gloomy, but then the sun came out every now and then. So I guess I'll just have to come back. I absolutely love London and has easily become one of my favorite cities. I think it's so eclectic and everyone just expresses themselves and it's just normal here that everyone's so different and I found everyone very nice and the, I mean there's just the scenes the different neighborhoods and the different scenes everywhere I just found it really cool like I feel like it's like I don't know like a mix between New York and Boston and San Francisco all in one but very Euro like a lot more European, obviously. Um, I don't know, very international and multicultural. I don't know, I just really loved the feeling I got from the city. So I think I will, I mean, I definitely will be back sometime in the future, someday in the future. But it was a good little taste starter trip. And now I know what to do more of when we come back. So London, thank you. Are any of you guys from the London area or obsessed with London as much as I am now? Let me know down below in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for clicking on this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao.